Hello, my friends, and it's New Year's Eve, believe it or not. And since I hadn't done one in a while, this is the Tenkai Talk New Year's Eve edition. Now, there's a lot I there's a lot that has been going on for quite some time, and I want to air out the room about it because. A lot has been happening. Now over the holiday season, um, a lot has been going on. For one thing that has happened was uh, me falling under the influence of stress. Therefore, I end up getting a heart attack. Now namely because... I really haven't talked about it in full detail. I've been mentioning it in, in little bits and pieces, but I feel now is the time for me to air out what's been going on with me. So, as I said before, I did have a heart attack. Mainly, it was through stress. And it was through the unseen part of the stress that really got me. Because of everything that has been happening and has been going on to where it got to me spiritually, then mentally, then physically. So it, it basically just hit me really like a bolt out of the blue. The thing was, it didn't stop me from actually speaking because of my strong will. And because of that, I was able to go to the hospital. The hospital I knew since I was a kid, thankfully, that had my records. And thankfully, the paramedics just took me to said hospital that um, basically... Because of that, the hospital that I went to was technically the one I grew up going to when I was a kid, namely, namely Harbor UCLA. So what they did was I don't know why, but my will was far too strong to let me just die. I and it, and, it, and you know I thought about it, I'm like. I really don't want to die. I can't die. And during that, during that whole entire time that I was basically under the knife, they were running tests on me. They were drawing blood from me. I basically had to stare at a light the entire time, which basically for a time has messed with my vision and at least for around two or so weeks been taking medicine since now I take f seven different medicines one I take twice three I don't there's it's like this I take seven medicines all together but one I take one half of it I take only once the other half I take twice and there's one that I just have to take before I go to bed I'm not gonna go through all the names but mainly when I take all this medicine it, it basically just helps keep my blood pumping helps keep me alive aside from that I'm still here And what I find funny is that the very people who say I should take it easy are the very same people who really have been, you know, 
aren't supposed you know they're supposed to be on my side but they're not. it's hard to say if they're on my side or not because let me tell you this whole this whole entire this whole entire time throughout 2018 I've been carrying around a load on my back that is invisible to the naked eye but very much visible to see even if it can't be seen so imagine if you will if I imagine if you will a backpack or a knapsack and the bigger it gets the harder it is to breathe when you're carrying it the entire time that throughout this entire situation regarding the house regarding everything it has literally drained me and I've been running on fumes the entire time yes I've been running on fumes and musel <laughs> that's how I can say it fumes and mutant Fumes and Musso. I've been running on Fumes and Musso throughout the entirety of this whole year. And for some odd reason, it finally caught up to me and boom! It finally took me down. But it didn't take me out. It just took me down. So what had happened was... Our then caretaker, she made the call to the paramedics. They took me down to Harper UCLA. I was, I just said, you know what? I have a heart attack. Something's wrong with me. Call paramedics. Like I said, I my will is so strong to where you know. Technically. I can, you know, I can, it's like even the most strongest, the most strongest of attacks really cannot take me down. Not without my will just wanting to just say, okay, I give. It's like arm wrestling. So I stayed there for about four days. I stayed there for about the entirety of the weekend. Um, my cousins came in, as well as my brother. And the strange thing I thought about was what he said was, he said, well, we're going to have to keep this a secret from the old man. I said, why? Why keep this a secret? I got thrown in the hospital because of stress. I already have a disability. I have cerebral palsy. On top of that, I have petite mal. That means seizures. You know what that you know what causes my seizures? Stress. Stress have caused my seizures for a very long time, but I kept it under I kept it in check because, you know, I don't really need to be stressed. That's the last thing I really do need to be stressed. And I don't need to have anyone causing me to be stressed out to the point where, I'm not, uh, you know, something like this happens to where, like, it takes a part of me that I don't want taken away. And they say something about, you know, when you have an attack party, you, I don't believe that. Because I believe, even though it has been run, it, it has been issued in my family for many, many decades, many generations. I, for one, feel that this... can't and will not stop me from
from what I'm doing. The one thing that is technically giving me purpose and pretty much has given me reason to live much longer is the main reason why I'm still here and even after the fact whatever happens I'm not stopping what I'm doing I mean I'm a let's player I'm a voice actor just none of my words are not known yet I'm an author which I'm which I'm slowly and gradually building some level of reputation thanks to my cousin Rita which I can say she has been a very long standing supporter in my work especially me being an author and whatnot and she has given me hints about what I should do with with my work so I mean with what she gave me she just said you know since you're an author now you can do A B C D E F G so the only thing I would have to do is build up a reputation and I have built up a reputation just thing is I have not been known as far as far as you know everything is concerned I'm not well known my book has been out since for what, seven years I think Se yeah since 2011 my book has been out since 2011 and the only thing I honestly need is just exposure proper exposure I need people in my corner to actually push this thing out to actually sell it the way it needs to be sold now would that mean I would turn into Alan Wake? No, no, no even though that might be on the future of the channel that might be on that might be a future let's play so you might get to see the dark side of me come out when, <laughs> while that's going on. You know that that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting when I when I start doing that. But aside from that, um, I can say this: I've been given a second life. Because the first half of my life, I just you know I've been through a lot of hardship. And like I said, you know, having a disability, whether you believe it or not, gives you an unneeded added level of stress that most people don't see. Especially if it's a physical difficulty. Yeah, it really does cause a lot more stress than people think. You see, if it, you know, if you have cerebral palsy, it causes more stress because you're trying to make yourself as normal as possible. And the problem with that is, in this day and age, what is considered normal? I mean, people have mental issues. They have physical issues. And I feel that more people are more mental than physical. They have more mental, they have more going on in the mental than they do with physical. <clears throat> I mean, for many long years I've had cerebral palsy. I had it since birth. Mm, half, half of my life that I didn't realize it, I was depressed. Till you know, I was told you know, you know you you know I was depressed and I didn't even know I was depressed until somebody told me. 
brother told me, oh, you were depressed all for about 14 years. I'm like, really? I was depressed that long? How come nobody told me I was depressed? How come nobody, didn't, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot going on. I'm like, how come nobody didn't tell me? How come nobody didn't talk to me? How come nobody didn't do this and do this and, you know. You know, I can pretty much say I was sheltered most of my life. Again, it it added an un, you know, it, it, an invisible, I shouldn't say un, it's invisible. It was an invisible layer of stress that I didn't even see. To which, you know, oh, you're, oh, um, he's helpless, he's this, I'm like, I'm not really helpless, I just like to understand what the hell's going on with me. And then, you know, a lot has been told to me, and I, and you know, that that's, again, another layer of unneeded stress. So I had layers and layers and layers and layers of stress on top of me for many long years, and I didn't need that. I didn't want it. Seriously, I never wanted it. It's something I didn't need to know, didn't want to know. Just because, oh, hey, I need to tell you something. So first and foremost, I don't want to know about it. I don't. Okay, I don't really want to know about it. Whatever happened in the past, I don't care about it. And that's the thing now that I don't really care much for. I don't really care much for the past because, A, I wasn't part of that. Okay, I was never part of that past, so therefore, I don't need to know what happened back then to what's going on with me now. What's going on with me now is more important than what happened back in the past. And it's about the same thing. Same thing with my family. Look, if y'all gonna get along, get along. But don't drag me into this sort of shit to where... It's going to cause me more stress that I don't even need. That's the one thing I don't need. I don't need any more stress than I had to take. I shouldn't have to take any stress. It's bad enough that I... It's bad enough I was born with a disability. And I never asked for it. It just happened. I'm not even mad at the situation about me having a disability. I can't even say, guys, I have a problem. Why can't you guys help me out with this? I can't even say that. Here I am, I'm 39 years old, borderline 40 in about four months. What am I doing in my life? Well, I'm trying to make something as an artist. I'm trying, I'm actually being something as, as an artist. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say trying. What I've already did, I've already done. So now all I have to do is just make sure, oh hey, I exist. That's all I, that's all I have to say, I exist. I'm Ichigo Musko. Yes, I am the guy behind Legacy of the Seven Stars. Yes, I'm the guy that makes... That's I'm the guy that's making seven of these books. My... My inspirations come from... Osamu Tezuka, Shotaro Ishimori, sorry, I had a, I had a <clears throat> excuse me, um, a comment coming in, so, you know, just from this one guy who watches my Sam Max videos, so I'm Blake, thanks, man, <laughs> anyway, 
Anyway, um, like I said, I'm right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm 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 going through a lot. So even with the strangeness that goes on in my head sometimes, the fact that sometimes I I get these strange and surreal dreams that supposedly makes no sense to anybody I talk to. If I tell my friends about it, they're going to look at me like, what? 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 I said, well, let me see. The only thing that makes sense to me is hearing the words from another author. Alive or dead, he spoke to me. You know? I said, well, you know, technically, I have been a bookworm all my life. So therefore, oh, hey, if I listen to, if I listen to, say, an audiobook based off of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison, then damn it, that's what I'm going to be listening to. And for some reason, it's like, okay, I get a weird, a weird surreal dream and here I am I'm talking to Harlan Ellison and he's telling me about what I should do with my life in ABCDFG he's just giving me sound advice on what I should do with my life and even if he's going into a voice I still can understand what he's saying to me it's like everybody else that's saying the same thing oh you should take it easy I'm like yeah, I would like to take it easy. I said, I turn my brain off for a reason. That very reason is because I do not want to think about A, B, C, D, F, G. Whatever has to be taken care of, let it be taken care of. I just want to live easy. Rest, I mean, well, no, I should not live easy. No, I should live peacefully Rest easy and eat heartily. That's what I should be doing right now. I should not be worried about A, B, C, D, F, G. I should not be worried about this problem and that problem and that problem. If I'm given the task to pay for bills, then that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pay for the bills of this household. And therefore, after that, I'm just going to get something to eat or possibly get myself some steam cash and possibly buy myself something off of steam. Just say, oh, hey, you deserve it. You've been through a lot. Here, there you go. I'll admit, I'm like one of the hardest working less players in said business. I am not the hardest working. But I'm one of the most hardest working Let's Players in in the YouTube gaming business. I'm not well known, but that's alright. I'm not doing it to get notice. I'm doing it because I love playing video games. Because I'm sorry, if I want fame, I want I want that from being an author, from being a voice actor. Anything that could bring my level up to somewhere that it can make me feel a lot more comfortable about my living conditions and whatnot. To where, oh hey. Is there a sizzler I can go to so where I can sit down and eat, enjoy a wonderful steak and a salad bar? Can I, you know, can I enjoy that on my own lonesome or with people or friends and whatnot? I mean, I may have the strangest batch of friends ever, ever discovered, but you know what? I'm glad I have friends who are as strange as they come, but they all have good hearts. 
I wish the same can be said for my family. My family has so many issues going around that technically it's like, I don't want to hear about your problems. I am not a priest. I cannot splash holy water on you unless if unless if you count one of my many um, colognes as holy water, I can do that. I can't say sim sim salabim going grace going peace go with God. Well, I can't say that, but you know, like I said, I don't have the authority to be a priest, even though I'm listening to people bitch and whine about their problems. At times, not all the times, but at times. Another thing. I have to mention is that this weather has been awful. If you want to know what I've been doing since Christmas time, not a goddamn thing. I spent Christmas Eve and Christmas Day alone. You may think that it, you may think that it's like it's a wonderful thing, but I'm like. It is the most boring thing ever realized because it puts everything in perspective. It puts everything into perspective to realize that Perhaps I'm trying too hard. Or perhaps I'm not trying hard enough. Or perhaps I shouldn't try too hard to where it's going to outright put another layer of stress on me. To where all these problems should not exist where it cannot exist in my world it should not exist it's like the black monster <clears throat> you know sometimes you know it cannot exist <clears throat> I still have to I still have to play catch up with that Legend of Dragoon let's play that 40 did but I really have to but because I've been because of those four days, I've just been put out, technically. There's nothing worse than actually trying to get up. Your back is stiff. Your legs feel totally numb because you've just been laying there for about almost a full 12 hours. Your blood feels... Your blood feels awfully stiff. Can't feel, almost can't feel a damn thing. Yet the one thing you can really feel right now is the insides gurgling and bubbling, and the only thing you want to do is just take a gigantic shit. You want to totally and utterly, utterly relieve yourself. Let me tell you, that's what it felt like. For, throughout everything that has been going on, I feel I felt like I've been sitting on the toilet, waiting for a humongous log to drop, and it really did feel like that. It felt like a big part of me just dropped in the toilet and I just like I need to flush this damn thing now for those who have ever ever experienced cardio problems let me tell you what my saving grace was Me not smoking or drinking. That was my saving grace. 
the fact that I just the fact that I told the doctors I said well I said well since I'm an author um I said I don't do much except write books or find a place to where I can write because I usually take a walk sometimes I go out to where um oh hey I'm going to go write for a while do like maybe a few pages maybe do say up to like a half a half chapter to a whole chapter that might take me about 30 minutes to almost a whole hour maybe more than an hour depending on how focused I am and how that goes about that really just says a whole lot And I got all these I I got all these ideas that I at once at one point in, in my life I did write them down. But the sad thing is, once I wrote, wrote them down, I misplaced them, and I don't know where the hell they are. They're probably still in my room somewhere, but I'm pretty sure I can't remember any of the ideas I had. I mean, most of my ideas, like, say, Sam Ranger, um, Elemen, yeah, they were all Sentai ideas. I even had one about um, the metaphysical Spider-Man, to where, you know, there was a different Peter Parker in a different universe, he was married he was once married to Mary Jane, but later down the line, he got, he, he remarried to Gwen Stacy. And a lot of shit happened to where he not only, you know, can do webbing, but actually can fire webbing straight from his hands. Instead of from the shooters, just straight from the hands. I have many ideas. I had another one called Five Hunter, to where they were all, to where the heroes were all based after famous literary heroes and authors like Sir Conan Doyle and, and um, And Kambe from Seven Samurai, and you know, and, you know, I, you know, and they all had, and they all had names based off the alphabet, you know, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Epsilon, Omega, you know, th th those, you know, the original alphabet. And they, you know, it, it, it had an, I had an idea, and like I said, I just, I don't know where I put every one of those ideas. And I had them down on paper, but like I said, I don't know where the hell they are. I had so many, I had so many ideas, technically, that I wanted to write down, but I felt if I were to tell anybody about them, they would just look at me funny. That's why I never talk about my ideas as far as, as far as you know, stories go. Because even I can. Somehow picture my friends looking at me really weird. And they would just look at me like, huh. So really, I see, I'm like, yeah. So why don't you ever say, I said, because of, because of that. I mean, what do you mean that? I mean, what I'm looking at. You don't, you, you just don't believe me. Or maybe just the fact that, you know, I'm not wowing you or something. Like, I can look at you and I can tell it's like it's not getting through to you. I 
Or maybe the fact that you don't read enough. I don't know. Or maybe it's not really getting to your imagination. Something like that. Let me shrink that down. Um, yeah, those are all my pictures. I'll, I'll just not use, but, you know. I have different pictures. Like I said, I got different pictures I use, in which, like for say, when I go back to Albert Odyssey, I have a picture I use for the background. And some of them I do have for, well, you know, some games run better on Zenus over 9X. Because there are different versions of 9X that are out. So it's like for, say, what I still have on the old version of 9X, there's still Princess Minerva I have to finish, and there's still Earthbound I have to finish. Now, like I said, I, I have a lot, of pro, uh, a lot of projects that have just been backlogged for so long just because of everything that has been going on. It's just been crazy. just because of the fact that I want to get my projects out of the way. I want to basically, basically like Tetris, just make a Tetris, there you go. Drops like that. Or, or more like Quarf, really, you know, just basically shoot everything, just basically shoot everything until it just disappears. Like you form blocks, boom, 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 like that. that. That's all it is. That's another thing I'm going. That's another thing that's going beyond the chest of obscurity. A few games I, I actually found during, I actually found, on another site since um, Emu Paradise, doesn't really have all the stuff. Doesn't have all the ISOs and all the, and all the um. And all the files that usually were there so um, I had to find some other place to look for my downloads and whatnot another thing I plan to do is um, yeah switching scenes we're gonna talk about something more lively <laughs> so 2019 coming up really I have no need to say I have a resolution because I don't believe in resolutions. If you hadn't done it in the last year, what's the goddamn point of saying it this year? It's basically procrastination for crying out loud. If you're not going to do it, then just say you're not going to do it. Hell, people are lazy. It's okay to be lazy. You have a reason to be lazy sometimes. It's okay to be lazy. The only thing I want to do now is I want to make something of my life. I've already made something of my life. I just want to make something behind it. Something productive. And it has not been easy because of such, you know, setbacks. And a lot of times I face a lot of ridicule just because I speak different. I pause more than I should speak. I mean, I, I've... I've read sometimes in, in, you know, my backlog of YouTube videos, why you had to do this? Why you had to... Why do I have to pause? I said, I can tell you what. I don't ask for it. I don't ask to pause mid-sentence. It just happens. You know, that's one thing I have to deal with with my disability. Sometimes the side effects just happen and they just just like that. 
sometimes I want to get lost in the game to where I don't want to provide commentary. And even with commentary, it's like sometimes it's very hard to make commentary because, oh hey, what are you doing more of? Are you enjoying the game more or are you trying to provide commentary for it? It's like walking and chewing gum at the same time. Or even better, you're running to school with a piece of bread in your mouth and you're trying to make the bus. And you're trying to devour that one piece of bread before you reach the bus. That's how it's been. It's always been like that for me. You know, me and me and Focus, we we have an understanding. We have a relationship. To the fact that where, you know, technically I require focus in in, in things I do. And sometimes it's not easy. So, all I can say is that for 2019, as far as Let's Plays are happening, a lot of them are going to be quite new. They are going to be a, mis a mishmash of PS4, PS2, PS1, PC, and probably a few replays here and there. And a lot of them are going to be continued. If not continued, then they are going to be concluded. Because I know I have a lot of... Pro I, I know I have a lot of... I had a lot of... Pro bleh, I had a lot of pro projects still sitting since, you know, 2018. A lot of them, if not for the constant, the constant requests and, you know, saying, oh, I need more, I need more, give me more, give me more, give me more. It's like instead of just saying, oh, give me a list for, say, the chest of obscurity. I asked for feedback, you know, give me, give me some sort of feedback that I can, that I can say, oh, I could use something for chest of obscurity because I don't really, use, I don't really put in much effort with chest of obscurity like I do with my let's plays. And as you can tell, on chest of obscurity, we are at like in the 60s. We are at the low 60s, like 62, 63, something like that. And I still got like a whole mess of arcade games at my disposal that I I still have, and a whole bunch I'm still looking, and a whole bunch of titles I'm still looking for through the annals of my memory, going way back when you know Game Players Magazine was the shit back in the day. You you guys remember Game Pro and Game Players? That's how that's how far back my gaming memory goes. Back to even, yes, the VHS tapes. That's how far back my gaming memory goes back. Because I really hadn't gotten to gaming until, like, say, right after Sega CD, Super Nintendo. Because for those who don't know, when I was younger, I had a hearing problem. It's Echolania, and the one thing I had, and this and this is for people who don't don't know my my back history, but when I was younger, when I was a kid, I had a problem with my ears, to where I can hear one thing, but I can't hear throughout the other end. So it was more, so I felt like an echo, and it really hurt. When I went to church, I got prayed over, and. It was gone. So when I was younger, I used to play my video games low. And one game I remember that was really, really loud to me was Bad Dudes for the NES. 
because the only thing I heard was Umber, and that was like I had to turn that thing down really, really, really low. The same thing with Super Mario Bros. I had to turn it down really low to where it wouldn't make my ears hurt. Now, fast forward to now, I'm a Let's Player. I have more appreciation for listening to the music than, you know, actually playing the game sometimes. It's like even with the Telltale games, the music is good. And I sometimes like to listen to it at the same time that I'm playing with it, you know. You know, whether it's point and click or, or whatever. Most of Telltale most telltales what I have are point and clicks anyway, but still, I enjoy it. So, aside from all that, like I said, most of what I got, I'm probably still going to get. I mean, my friends already sent me a few games on Steam, which I have not had. Well, actually, the last game I actually finished beating was... Samurai Ride, and I did that on a stream. It only took me two streams to finish that. And last night was my last stream for this year. And by the time I put this up, this will probably be up later, right after I put up the last, um, it'll probably be before or after I put up the last season of Santa Max, which is, um, 205 what's up bills well what I just put up not too long ago in whole because like I said I, I finished it was the last thing I finished for this year was Sam and Max so I finished up 204 cherries of the dogs and now I put up and now later on I'm gonna put up 205 what's up bills because I already have 301 to 305 which is technically the devil's playhouse so basically I got I basically got all the telltale version of Sam Max I'm not doing hit the, I'm not doing the earlier early ones I already know that Big's already doing Sam Max hit the road because I sent it to him I bought him Sam Max I believe I bought him Bertram Phil so I'm I'm not entirely certain if I did or not but I am pretty sure I did buy him Sam Max. Another thing I need to point out, and I have not said it since, but I'm saying it here since I'm making time to do this. You, my friend, you have earned every bit of those 900 subs. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. You put in the time and the effort to make as many videos as you do for every year and you're putting them up as fast as stupidly possible. And even though we may joke on you, we do appreciate you. Just letting you know. We do. We do. We really do. Uh, for everything that has been going on, though, like I said, for me, I really do deserve a break. I went through too much this whole year. I think right after my mom passed, that was it. That was it for me. I couldn't. I couldn't deal. It was basically it. I I couldn't deal. Basically. The very person that was considered my whole entire universe is gone. And I'm just like, I'm basically a spaceship just just floating through the cosmos. My ship's half blown. I'm barely going, I'm barely getting by through auxiliary alone. And wherever the next 
repair bay is I have no clue because my map is shot technically that's how 2018 has been for me I just been like this the entire time even though I have been going through even though I have been going through therapy just to help with my just to help with my depression and whatnot still the, the 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 truth of the matter is I've been through a lot and I just and I of all people deserve the chance to let it all go whatever needs taken care of yeah fine I'll take care of it Oh, and that's my um, heater going off. Uh, my, my heater turned off, turned itself on. Cause it, like I said, it was being cold as hell. It was cold as hell around here. It's been like in the forties, the forties, maybe fifties here in California at night, and we're talking about right after the sun goes down. Like right, like right after five o'clock, bam, it gets cold. Gets cold as hell. So sometimes, you know. At night, especially around say midnight or so, because I usually just like I usually just lay in my bed just thinking, and usually when I think, I just you know listen to a video or so, and I just I don't realize, but I just fall right to sleep. Well, at least for the most part, uh, for for at least the most part, that I'm what I'm going through right now is you know, you know, slowly, the realization is happening to other parts of the family. You know, realizing, okay, you know, this happened. That means, okay, y'all need to get your shit together. And that's all I got. That's all I got to say. You need to get your shit together. I have one aunt that I haven't seen in like years. One of my three great aunts. Out of the four great. Louisiana sisters, in which one was my mother. She is the last aunt that I ever do have. And I've not seen her in like a long time. And she's still around and she's still kicking. I would love the chance to go see her. To spend time with her. You know, enjoy life. That's my that's my goal in life, is to enjoy it. Cause I've seen too many people. Too many people, are, they bitch and moan. About, the people. That, give them a hard time in life. To where. It's like you put this person on a pedestal for so long and they don't really treat you like the like the person you should be treated. It's like if you're on this one level, if you're if you're trying to level up, then don't you think you should help that very person? That you that that basically helped you level. It just makes sense, you know. Instead of just hearing about the same damn thing about one person, what this person had to done, and they're not supporting you, then let them go. There are plenty of people in my life I've let go.
had to let go because it, it was just unhealthy to keep them around. And they all had issues and, you know, A, B, C, D, F, G, all that sort of thing. It just, no, it just, no, wasn't worth it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Had I kept them around long, longer than I should have, I don't know. I might have ended up with a shrew. And that's one thing that no man should be stuck with. And that's a shrew. You see, truth be told, a shrew is worse than a bitch. Because a shrew can make you feel like the most tiniest person unimaginable. To where you yourself don't matter and you know better. But you're stuck with this person for God knows what stupid ass reason. And that doesn't make sense. It, it really doesn't. I'd rather have a person to push me forward. To help me at my side. To say, oh, here. How you like this? You think you might want to use this in, say, one of your future projects? Or they send you something? Oh, well, what? Well, here. This is from me. I want to help you. Okay. I'm not going to turn that down. I, I thank you for it. That that support right there. So regardless, that support. Even many times my cousin has called me throughout her time in Louisiana. The very time she's corresponded with me. The only thing she says, the only thing she says, well, we're going to help get you out of this. We're going to help put an end to this. I'm like, please do. I said, I need everybody's help on this. I said, I already know what's, what's going on. I already got it all set up. The only thing is, there has to be a full-blown understanding of what's going on. And what needs, and what needs to happen. And the only thing I have to say is, as long as we can put it to rest, that's the most important thing. If you put it to rest, we can move on with our lives, and whatever happens from then on, let it happen to where it, it we can all benefit from it. That's all. That's all I want. So as far as that is concerned, um, let's go back to Let's Plays. Um, as far as Let's Plays are concerned, like I said, before I went into that whole thing that was been, been going on, like I said, I have a whole mess of stuff that's been, just been on me. And like I said, I have a whole mess of Let's Plays that are basically, pretty much at this rate, done. With the exception of a few that I think I've explained why but for the most part, I just have a whole lot of backlog that just needs to come off and just go right on the channel. Like, I, I have um, Ages of Mayhem still in backlog, Samurai Warriors 4 in backlog, um, I have Tokiden Kiwami in backlog, I also have Yakuza 0 and Lost Paradise in backlog. So I have about five games in backlog. Out of the 
oh so many titles that I really want to really want to do I got a whole mess of backlog that just need to just come on right off just so I can clear some space just so I can put more just so I can start working on other games so pretty much when I'm done with most of what I got like I said I you know I got a, a whole mess of videos that just need to come off that needs to be put on the channel like I said, you've seen one already. You've seen E7. So after I'm done with E7, I'm eventually going to go to 8. But that's going to take some time. I said, I got Art the Lad 2. So eventually, I got to finish that. Tells the Symphonia, which I'm looking at. I got to finish the second disc. I haven't even started on the second disc. I just ended the first disc. And I just need to start up on the second disc just so I can get things running just so boom we knocked that bad boy off I I still have rent a hero to finish shining the shining games to finish I mean I got a whole mess of stuff that I just need to finish and this whole whole, whole ordeal has basically has just put a lot of things in perspective but I can say this, I only have one heart, and I gotta take it easy on myself as much as I can. That's all I can do. Regardless of what I'm, regardless of what I'm doing, and how I'm doing it, as long as I take it easy on myself, and probably not push myself so hard, that's what matters. So next time, on my channel I shall see you in 2019 with um, new let's plays as well as old let's plays continuing and otherwise so I wish to thank you for all the time that we've spent together for all the comments good bad and in between thank you for them for all the subs who flock to my channel just because I'm interesting enough for my content to be seen by you my content is always interesting be it old or otherwise don't worry if it's old I plan to I plan to do some replays so just in case if you missed the first time you're not gonna miss it the second time I guarantee you that so until then I I am your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi, back and better than ever, and probably going to be a little more chill than normal. And I can tell you that's straight off the headset. And with that, I shall see you in 2019. So until then, take care. God bless. And let's all make it in some same way in one piece to 2019. And let's pray it's all, it's a better year than this one was. So until then, Tenkai Muso! See you next game! And Happy New Year. And may the hand of God be with us all. And with that, good night, Mom.